Okay, welcome back, my students. Um, I'll be doing two more questions from this exercise, and the rest are the same. You can try them, okay, yourself. Um, question number ten is here on, on, on board. Uh, it says um, a wind surfer and his board have a total mass of eighty kg. Okay, I have written down the mass here. They are being pushed by the water with a force of 20 newton westwards. Okay, I have kept this as the north over here. So this is going to be the west in this direction. Okay. And then he says uh, the wind is pushing them northwards with the force F. So this is the wind pushing them northwards with the force F. Okay. Now there's one thing, guys, please remember the length of this, these lines they determine they, they show the magnitude okay so i'm not sure this if um, this f is more than or less than this so uh, if we knew that this frictional force is less than this 20 newtons so its length had to be like you know with a tentative scale this length should be less than the length showing this 20 newton magnitude okay so just show, telling you for your for your notes for your information okay uh, so now he says um, find the force so now he's, he he's told us the wind surfer surfer accelerates on a bearing of 340 degrees so if i mark this from here like you know this is the north so if you recall your bearing knowledge so all of this is going to be 340 degrees uh, 340 means Two, oh, I have to mention 70 degrees here. Yeah, this is 70 degrees over here. Okay, so because this is 270 and then plus 70, that is 340, and 20 degrees is left here. This is 20 degrees over here. Okay, now we have to find, yeah, what we will find force F and the acceleration of this surfer. Okay, so now this is the direction of this, uh, this surfer is going in this direction. So these two uh, forces, they are neither parallel nor perpendicular to this direction. So we need to resolve these two forces in the direction, uh, like both parallel and perpendicular. Okay, so first of all, you see this, uh, this is going to be resolved like this, like this is. Now this is going to be, I'm just going to erase, this is 20 cos 70 and this one is 20 sine, uh, oh, oh sorry, 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 yeah, this is the right angle and this was basically, oh, I'm making silly mistakes, this is your 70 degrees. So this is 20 cos 70 and this one, I'm so sorry, this one is 20 sine 70. Like opposite to this angle, this, there has to be sine and adjacent to this angle, there has to be cos. Okay. Now, sometimes to avoid overlapping, we like this, this F had to be resolved like in this direction and then going to this direction. So in, instead of doing that, I'll be resolving it like this, uh, this. This one is a perpendicular to this direction and this one is parallel to this direction. Okay. If this is 20 degrees over here, I can mark 20 degrees over here. Okay. Now this is going to be like this and this. This is your F sine 20. And this is your F cos 20. Okay. Now this is up to you uh, which uh, components you equate first. This is in this direction, this is in equilibrium. So I can put this F sine 20 equal to this 20 sine 70. Okay. So first of all, if I use this arrow, that means F sine 20, that is equal to 20 sine 70. Okay. This will give you the value of F. Okay. For these, like now this is basically being accelerated so there is no equilibrium thing but we have to apply that f equal to m I think okay so there are two forces which are like you know acting in this direction so one is going to be 20 cos 70 and the other is f cos 20 and the mass is 80 and times a so you find your f 
you see this f happening here so this f is basically the resultant over here okay so now you use this find this f which is going to be f equal to 20 sin 70 over sin 20 so this value has to be substituted over here so that you can find this a okay okay guys the 19th question the last question that i'll be doing for this exercise and after this we shall inshallah be moving maybe she'll move into the next step right thing okay uh, now this is an exam like person because here the frictional force is also involved and some like you know inf other information regarding kinematics is given as well okay now it says a box of mass 9 kg now the mass is 9 kg so i'm showing the weight as 90 newtons okay now the mass is 9 kg okay uh, is dragged along a horizontal ground by force f acting at 30 degrees above the horizontal okay there is a friction of 5 newton now this time is given as a frictional force the box starts at rest i have mentioned this as zero okay the the, the box um, starts at uh, rest okay and then it says reaches a speed of 4 meter per second in 10 meters so the distance is 10 meters we're saying find the size of the force f okay again uh, it is always your first step to resolve the force or the forces which are not in the direction of the motion okay so this is going to be f cos 30 this is f sine 30 and here is that r okay so um if i try to find this like within this given uh, scenario if i try to find f that would be f cos 30 minus the frictional force that is equal to ma 9a so we will find this f if you look at this given information you can see that you can find the acceleration from this okay so i think the equation that we shall be using here is uh, let me use this black marker this is 2 a s that is equal to v square minus u that is 0 u square which is 0 okay so you find your a from here you substitute this into this equation and that will give you the f okay there is no need to use these vertical components right now we, we could use them if we had to find the normal contact force. Okay, guys, please uh, practice the questions that I did first and then you try the other questions. If there is any problem, you please do let me know. Okay, bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.